Hey crafters, let's get started by downloading Inkscape onto your computers. This is super simple, just Google Inkscape and you'll find the inkscape.org website. Once you click onto here, you can either select download now from this menu or at the top as well. At the top, you can select the current version and then you need to just choose whichever operating system you have. So I have a Mac and it's actually already started the download. You can see it here in my downloads bar. So let's give that a minute to download. Once it's downloaded, installing is super simple. Just click on the download. And you simply click on this icon and drag it into the applications folder. That's all done. So now if you head to your finder, close that, into applications, you should find Inkscape in here. The first time you open it, you'll probably get this message. Just double checking you're sure you want to open it as it was an application downloaded from the internet. We are sure, so we'll just click open. So this is what Inkscape looks like. If this is your first time seeing it and you're used to using Cricut Design Space, it may seem a bit intimidating. It looks very busy. There's lots going on here, lots of different icons, different tools, and I totally understand. But please stick with me. I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible for you. And I do think that once you've played around with Inkscape a little bit and followed my tutorials, you will find it much less scary to work with. And even if you decide in the end that you don't want to be designing your projects fully in Inkscape, I still believe you'll find it useful for doing certain things. Like you may choose to use Inkscape now just for designing with text because it works much better in Inkscape than it does in Design Space. Or for example, you may use Inkscape to create those shadow boxes that we like to put around text to give it like a background with a border that matches the shape of the text. Those things are much easier to do in Inkscape and you get a much better result than if you were to try and do it in Design Space. If you are already an Inkscape user, I would suggest that you just make sure you have the latest version. So you can see that we've got the version 1.01. .01. There are some slight changes in this version compared to previous. So if you have downloaded it in the past and you kind of fallen out of habit of using it, head over to the website and download the newest version. All right, that's it for this tutorial. I'll catch you in the next one. And until then, happy crafting.